morning welcome to a day in my life i saw i started off with a bar workout just chase's bar workout on her website she does like live classes and i need to do the live ones to motivate me to go and do it at a certain time because <laughs> the on demand ones i'll do but it always ends up being like later in the day so such a good start to my morning. What you didn't see is I walked Brody before, made some breakfast. I actually want to insert a picture of my breakfast right here. I've been doing scrambled eggs with spinach and chicken sausage because this girl I follow on TikTok, Jamie, if you guys follow her, I don't want to say her last name, Van, Jamie Van Sloopin, Van... Been ah, oh my gosh. I never like said her name out loud, but I follow her on TikTok. I love following her. Anyway, if you guys know who I'm talking about, she posted either on her Instagram story or TikTok the other day. I follow her on Instagram too about doing the Trader Joe's chicken sausage with scrambled eggs for breakfast. And I'm like, why have I never thought to do that? I always just do the chicken sausage like for dinner. So I've been cutting it up and doing it with my scrambled eggs, and it's so good in the morning. So anyway, that's all you missed. To my little bar class. I like how Brody joined me for a bunch of it. Please ignore the chaos that this couch always is. It's always covered in blankets because of Brody, or else you get it really dirty. One day I know I'm just gonna give up and stop <laughs> trying to keep it clean, and it's just gonna get dirty. <laughs> but for now, that's why all the blankets are like that. I gotta clean up and I might do a little bit of tidying right now. We got a lot going on today. Dan, well, a lot going on for me. It's just me. It's just you and me rocking, hanging out today since Max is in Canada playing hockey. He's away. Yeah. And it's like I have a lot to do and I, now I'm just, I'm giving myself the egg. Because I'm thinking of TikToks I've seen and it's like an influencer's busy day of like errands. But no, I have to like <laughs> record my podcast. I have a nail appointment. <laughs> <laughs> but I just have like a lot of like little things to get done. So I'll bring you guys along Welcome to my morning. Let's fold some laundry right now. <laughs> That's my busy day nails and folding laundry. No, I'm kidding No one hate on me. You you get what I mean just like the little chores and tasks and such especially because I was just home for my birthday I got to like catch up on cleaning and stuff like that <laughs> I try to like put my hair in a clip. It's part of my healthy hair journey, okay? I've talked about it with my hairdresser and he's like, less ponytails, less breakage, the clip will be good. But for workouts, it's a little challenging. No one told me how crazy my hair looks right now. <laughs> I was just thinking, you guys, how it's so funny that we put off little things like this, or at least I do. Brody Fuzzball. Put off little things like laundry because in reality, this will probably take me like 10 minutes. You know, but in my head it's like, oh, I have all that laundry sitting in the dryer, I gotta fold, like I don't wanna. And then it's just like a big thing in my head. But I think I've talked about this a bunch on YouTube, I've said this before, but the biggest thing I learned from Max, and honestly my friend Taylor too, is they're like the most productive, efficient people I know, is they just don't have that like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna do it, like mindset or thought ever, I feel like. They always would just, like they taught me how to be clean and tidy and clean up after myself and dishes whenever I lived with them after college because they would be like Gretchen if you just do it then it's done and then you don't have to worry about it so now whenever I put something off I'm like if you do it then it's done like that just sticks with me so anyway if anyone else is like me also I should say shout out Max again for this pink sweater from Skims I had to grab the matching sweats as well to show you guys what a sweet birthday present. We didn't really show what presents we got or anything on our birthday vlog, but he gets it. I love this so much. At first when I saw it, I was like, do I need it? Like a light pink sweat set. Then I was like, this is me. I love pink. I need. I'm gonna wear it all the time. It's so cozy. It's my first ever Skims like sweats. But I really like them, so yeah, that's that. Okay, I'm procrastinating. Oh wait, last thing. I should show you too. Because you guys know I'm into my Garmin watch, but I'm going to try out the Aura Ring. Max also got me the Aura Ring for my birthday, which I am so excited about. I just have the gold one. Yeah, I'm so excited. I slept with it for the first time last night. It was really cool to see my sleep, stuff like that. Honestly, it already reminds me it's like very similar to the Garmin showing me my sleep stages and all sorts of... To call it called metric stuff like that all sorts of data and like workouts and stuff people say the garment's definitely better for workouts but yeah i'm just gonna try it out see what i think okay i'm really procrastinating here we go start with the towels i feel like that's the easiest to fold 
Also, I feel like another thing that I've noticed in all my vlogs whenever it's sunny and nice out, it's like all I talk about, I'm like, guys, it's gonna be sunny and nice out today. But seriously, if you have lived in upstate New York or do live in upstate New York, you know how bleak it can get in the winter. Especially here in Utica, I've learned. Cause I'm like, this is not just in my head, how freaking, oh my gosh, there's mascara all over this, how <laughs> cloudy it is here. Like it's rarely sunny. And I noticed such a difference because we are an hour, hour and a half from Albany where I grew up and it's definitely more sunny there. At least I just remember more sun sunshine. So I'm like, what in the heck? I think we learned Utica's in a valley. I should probably Google that. So I think it actually, like the clouds just kind of come in and like hang over Utica and it makes it bleak. So whenever it is sunny or warm, oh my gosh, like I'm planning my whole day around it. <laughs> I'm like, Brody and I are going to the PARK. We're like having a ball because it's really like this. So yeah, I'm really in a good mood that today. It's also gonna be like 60 degrees, which it has not been at all. March is always a toss up, you know? You don't know if it's gonna be 30 and snowing, like it was the other day, like two days before my birthday. Or if it's gonna be 60 and sunny, so yeah. Okay, yeah, that was not bad at all. Just under 10 minutes, and I was even going slow and chatting, so here's your sign. The task you've been putting off doesn't take as long as you think. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna go record for my podcast, but before I do that, I thought this was a perfect time to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Way, for sponsoring this video. You guys know my favorite hair care products of all time. I grabbed my cute little mini detox shampoo to show you. You guys know, the best clarifying shampoo ever. The only one I use, and also the only leave-in conditioner I use. So, so good. So good at detangling. Can't get a rush through my hair without it. Really more moisturizing, heat protecting, all that. But I wanted to introduce you to their new anti-frizz cream. If you guys haven't seen this, I actually found this from Jamie as well, the girl I was talking about earlier on TikTok. She showed this and I was immediately sold. I was like, I need that because she was showing how her hair blow dried without it versus with it just smooth so much and helps with the frizz because I have naturally pretty straight hair. But if you guys can tell, you can see if you look close, I have a lot of fine like baby hairs and I just feel like all along here after I blow dry it gets very frizzy on the sides so i was like sign me up i need this right away i was reading about it you guys in the study they did 90 percent of people said their hair looked less frizzy i would show you right now but my hair is dry already so i'll insert footage right here of how i use it on my damp hair after i shower and then when i blow dry it's just so silky smooth and way less frizzy with this so highly recommend there's also heat protection in it which is amazing i love how so many of ways hair care products have heat protection in it since you guys know i'm on my hair health journey and so this stuff is amazing highly recommend if you guys just feel like your hair gets really frizzy especially when you style it so yes also helps with split ends i need all the help i can get so this product's amazing i just wanted to let you guys know about it if you haven't seen it i've seen it a bunch on social media so Yes, I'll have Way linked down below. You guys can go to theway.com slash GG. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com slash GG for 15% off. And now we're going to go record for my podcast before I procrastinate any further. That's <laughs> something else I procrastinate. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm nervous to really record when you guys are here. Why, hello. And so we're just going to do a little test together. You always start stirring whenever I record Brody and then you hear that in the back of my podcast if you guys haven't listened you'll get some Brody moments by the way if you guys don't listen to my podcast you should I used to be a little more consistent I at least at the very least do once a month I used to do every week I don't know how I did that then I really want to do like every other Friday but yeah I've been doing like once a month. I think I'll say in my episode, now I'm having deja vu because I was just writing my notes, but if you guys have like a preference, if you're like, no, I'm only gonna listen if you do every other week. I'm not gonna listen if you do once a month. Or like whenever you do Gretchen, we'll listen, it's fine. Or you're like, no, I want every week. You're not posting enough. Like, let me know. I don't know. I feel like for podcasts, I just like catch up over time. So I don't really care like how often they are. I guess if I was like out of episodes, I'd be like, come on, post. So 
Hopefully you guys don't feel that way about mine. But I feel like a lot of you on TikTok and even sometimes on YouTube are like, wait, what? You have a podcast? I feel like I don't talk about it that much. So yes, happy hour podcast. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a little test. <clears throat> testing, testing. Hey, everyone. Welcome to this episode of my podcast. I'm your host, Gretchen Garrity. It's how I start every podcast. Okay, let's listen to that back. Testing, testing. Hey, everyone. Welcome to this episode of my podcast. I'm your host. It's so weird listening to yourself, even me, and I listen to myself every day. Okay. I always check the settings like a hundred times because I've had it wrong before. Okay, here we go. Bye. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> we did it. We recorded the podcast. Now I just made a little smoothie, sprinkled some chocolate granola on top. Mm, mm, mm. All over my face. So good. Literally the best ever. The purely Elizabeth chocolate one in like a day around here i could just eat the whole bag but hang on as i take another sip okay so all you missed is thank god i started recording my podcast as soon as i did because i forgot i called my accountant like right when i finished it was like time to call her i was like phew it's not on my schedule but it took like over an hour there's always so many things when you run your own business i feel like i like barely talk about that side of stuff but like for example two days from today is a deadline for like a corporate tax return but then april 15th is like the personal one so i have to do both and i feel like the march 15th one i know nothing about and i'm like yeah help teach me i don't know what's going on so anyway that's that but during the podcast i got a bunch of texts from max and i'm like oh my gosh of course <laughs> he just got called up and like i said he's away in canada for a hockey game which is today which now he's not going to play in because he has to fly to dallas right now <laughs> To meet the devils. I mean, that's something else people wouldn't realize. Like, if you get called up when you're on the road, he has, like, no more clothes because he's supposed to come back tonight after the game. And he's like, we're in Dallas, then we're in Arizona, then we're in Vegas, and I don't have any clothes. I'm like, well, guess you're gonna have to get to shop, and when you get there, so they buy some I'm like, I would ship you some. I don't think they'd get there in time. But anyway, that's that. I'm gonna have my smoothie, and then Freddie and I are gonna go to walk. It's so nice out. Happy dog! <laughs> it is so stinking nice out. I can't believe it. He's so good. <laughs> Keeps fighting sticks to chew on. Happy little camper. <laughs> Bring him with you. Come on. Oh, I knocked it out of your hand. Out of your mouth. Not your hand. Come on. Bring him with you. Brody. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> So I made a nice little iced vanilla latte. So good for this afternoon. Just a little something something to keep the day going. This lighting is so difficult right now. I'm having deja vu again, but I think I was saying this at my podcast earlier, not on the vlog. How, I hope you haven't noticed, but two of my nails are broken. This pointer finger right here, and then most recently this middle finger right here. They're so sad looking. So, nail day sooner than expected. Since I gotta get that fixed, I think I'm gonna have to go shorter because... My fingers aren't liking the long nails. I like them long, but I'm just doing too much with my hands flying around too quick, so they keep breaking, and then it hurts, and then it's a whole thing. So, I think I could go a little shorter. I also was just starting a little TikTok nail vlog, so I'm having deja vu again because I just said. I haven't even made up my mind on if I want a color, if I want to go back to my natural light pink, if I want to do, like, I could see, like, a pastel, like, a light purple, yellow, green with, like, chrome on top for Easter. So if I'm feeling really adventurous, so we'll see what I end up with. Here we go. By the way, go to Polished. Is that it right there? Polished in New Hartford, in case you guys are wondering. I was not adventurous. I actually tried to do Love is in the Bear 
that's the name of this dip color from OPI that I kept seeing all over TikTok. And they said they had it and they looked fair and they're like, we literally did have it, but we lost it. We don't know where it is. And I'm like, it's totally fine. And then I was like, I'll just go back to bubble bath because sometimes I feel like bubble bath can look really pink and I like like a really natural light pink. Like bubble bath is almost like darker than this, like pink pink but it's still like a light pink per se, but just, I just wanted like a little bit lighter. And then she recommended to me, wait, I have to look exactly, hang on. ANC175 Just Chillin' is the color. That. <laughs> it was just a little bit lighter than the bubble bath. And I'm like, okay, I trust you, let's go for it. And it's perfect. It's like the perfect natural light pink. I love it. It looks very similar to bubble bath in my eyes. Maybe a little bit more pink than when I do bubble bath mixed with bunny bunny because it's like a little bit more of a whitish pink. This just looks like a really natural light pink, but I love it. It's just so natural. That's what I love. And I don't get sick of them. I was not adventurous. Didn't do pastel or chrome or anything. I'm like, you know what? Chopping them all off really short is going to be drastic enough. So we got to go back to the natural light pink. I want the length again, but hopefully when I go in next time, they'll grow and then I can just keep them that length and they don't need to be short anymore. Cause I love the length. I just feel like it's more flattering on my hands but they kept breaking so yeah that's how they turned out love them and that was so quick and easy i'm gonna head home i don't know what else i was gonna say i don't even know what i'm gonna do when i get home probably start packing because now i'm thinking i'll go to boston tomorrow instead of friday because i was gonna stay tomorrow because max was gonna get home like in the middle of the night tonight so i could see him tomorrow but now he's on this road trip so i was gonna go to boston early friday morning but i might as well just go like tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night so i'm just gonna like start packing planning my outfits getting my stuff in order and now i'm thinking you know i really gotta start packing because i think i'm gonna pack for like a week and a half or two weeks because it doesn't really make sense to drive four hours to boston and then after Boston, four hours back to Utica and then four hours down to New Jersey when Boston is also four hours from New Jersey. So I might just go four hours to Boston and then after Boston, they'll be back in New Jersey all of next week, three home games. So then I might just go straight to New Jersey. So then I got to pack for Boston and New Jersey. Yeah. So we got to start planning our outfits here. Guys, I just got home. Hi, kitty. We have like a neighborhood cat that just run about. Oh no, I don't want to scare you. I'm just saying hi. <laughs> oh, that's Roni inside. He's like, can you come inside, mom? What are you doing? <laughs> Back home, we're just going to open some packages. I started opening one and then I was like, wait a minute, I should show you guys. So, this is so exciting. This is from Liaison, the label, which, yay, has a collab with my friend Sydney Adams. So, love you, Sydney. Shout out. These flowers are actually from her for my birthday. And I'm so excited because I have one of her sets from her collab. It's like a lighter purple. And this looks like the color is Rosewood Front Twist Bra. So cute. Okay, I'm packing this for my workout class. This came perfect timing for Boston. And this must be, yeah little bike shorts to go with. Amazing. Look how cute that it says her name right there. I'm obsessed. Sydney, I'm gonna send you a picture right now. I'm so excited. I love a six inch bike short. That's my favorite inseam. Not too short, not too long. And then we got the core tank. Wait a minute. This one I'm so excited about. I saw her post about this on her story the other day about... Does she have it in gray? Maybe she was wearing the gray one, or maybe it was this one, and it was like the best fit. It looked so good on her. I literally was gonna damn her and be like, where'd you get the tank top? Oh, this is so cute. You could definitely wear this like normal, with like a normal outfit too, or workout. Just saying normal about eating over there. We know he likes to do that. Okay, the real reason I started to do this is because this Abercrombie Fitch package just showed up. I'm so excited, you guys, because they actually let me pick out a couple of things. For like the first time ever, I'm like, wait, are you kidding? So excited. So here we go. Got this linen, white little tank. This is gonna be so cute for spring and summer. They have such good basics. I feel like their prices are so good. Oh my gosh, this, I was so excited about. This is like the first thing I picked out. I was like, need, absolutely need. Gray little cashmere cardigan. I've been seeing cardigans like this styled on TikTok, like buttoned at the top, open with like a workout set. This is, sorry, this is probably gross. I'm still wearing my set that I did bar in this morning, but I don't really sweat that much in bar. So I was like, I'm just probably gonna wear it all day with like a switch over top. So I did. So like imagine this set, but like this over top wearing to Pilates or bar or something. So cute. 
with like cute little, I'm wearing my hocus, but like new balances with like some aloe socks, make it like a little vibe, throw a pea coat over top. I'm so excited to style that. Hey, these I'm so excited about. I love this little detail. I have a lot of like basic, just like their high rise. My favorite is their high, okay. Ultra high rise, 90s straight jean, regular. Not the curve love, regular inseam. I did have some with the long, but I kind of like them ankle length, so I do regular inseam. Yeah, but this is the 90s relaxed high rise, regular inseam, because I really liked this detail on the front. I just thought that was so fun. I'm so excited to wear these and style them. They're so cute. Also gonna be packing these. All this came just in time for my travels. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I was going back and forth between two different style shorts. This is the four inch mom short. And I forget the other one I was looking at, maybe dad short or something. These are so cute. I love this style. I love the distressing. I like the inseam, the length and everything. These are gonna be so good. What is this called? It doesn't say Okay, just look. This is the soft matte seamless shell bodysuit. I can link these for you guys too in the description, but I was inspired by my bestie, Hannah. She has a bodysuit that looks just like this style. That's kind of like high up in the front and the back and just like this kind of cut on your shoulders. And it's always so cute on her and looks like so elegant. Such a good basic. Yay, thank you, Evercrombie. Okay, that concludes our little haul moment. That was fun. I took Brody on another walk since it's just so nice out today. A little sunset walk. He's probably loving me extra today. He got three big walks. And now I just made dinner. Look at how weird my dinner looks. <laughs> I cannot. This is called the I need to eat everything in my fridge dinner. All my Trader Joe's food since I'm about to leave. So we got some arugula with some salad dressing. That's it. Some pesto chicken breast and then some butternut squash ravioli. None of this really goes together, but it'll be good. <laughs> it's way later. I just got ready for bed and realized I need to open this curling iron since I need to pack it. I'm having deja vu again because I talked about this in my podcast. But I don't think I told you guys. This is a curling iron. It was my favorite curling iron ever that I lost in St. Lucia. They couldn't find it until my mommy got it for me for my birthday, which is so sweet of her because I was like, I really need it again. I'm not okay without it. I'm so excited right now. It's kind of pricey, so I don't really want to get it myself. I'm like, if anyone wants like a good birthday present idea for me, here it is. Oh, it's so good. I'm so excited right now. I missed her. It just like curls so like smoothly, like your hair just like glides on this. And the other one I've been using is a bigger barrel. My ice maker's so loud, sorry. So the curls are kind of different. This is probably like days old anyway. And my hair gets like caught on the curling iron. I don't know how to describe. Like look at how your hair just like slides with this one. It's like really, I don't know how to describe it. it. Just makes it easy to curl and like really smooth and feels like it doesn't eat my hair around. And it's like the best size curls that really stay really well. So shout out mom, love ya. Okay, I think I'm going to end off this vlog here. I feel like it's getting kind of long, but yeah, I actually, today was, of course I, okay, I have so many thoughts. When I was coming back, I was like, I need to pack right now. Of course I can do any of that. So I'm gonna be running around tomorrow, like trying on clothes, packing, trying to leave. So I need to end up this vlog here because tomorrow is just gonna be like chaos. And actually today, this afternoon, instead I just stressed and thought of all the things I needed to do. That's what took it my dad. But I was going to, I like cleaned out my closet a bunch and I was going to put a bunch of clothes in my Poshmark, sell them, and then I was like, you know what? <laughs> Change of plans. Because now I can't do that anyway because I won't even be here to ship them. So I'm like, well, that's gonna have to wait. So unexpected. <laughs> of plants you know unexpected but like as per usual it's always chaos always something new nails well new for right now i was being adventurous for a hot sec and now back to my huge back to our regularly scheduled programming and yeah oh i want to tell you guys my phone's over in there well i just checked like earlier this aura ring has been so fun already because i mean my garmin did the same thing it just i guess if i'm in like a running era like if i i have in the back of my head i don't even want to say it out loud because then i feel like i'm gonna have to be held accountable to do it in the back of my head it would be so fun to do a half marathon because some of my friends are really into half marathons do one with them so then i feel like i would do the garmin but i feel like for like everyday purposes if i don't want to wear the garmin because i have all these other clinkety clanky bracelets on then the aura ring is good and i looked at it earlier and it 
it said I did over 15,000 steps, maybe even 16 or 17. I'm sure now I'm at like 17 because I've walked so much with Brody today. So that's really fun. Anyway, was that what I was gonna say? I think so. That <laughs> I was supposed to pack, didn't, wanted to do Poshmark today, didn't. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be chaos. <laughs> that's the recap of today. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and get excited for the Boston St. Patrick's Day weekend vlog and a New Jersey moment after that. Okay, see you in my next video. Bye.